guess what question I get asked the most about when training, working out and doing exercises? How do I tone up my abs, my core? It is a big hot topic. Most of us want to have a nice felt stomach or we want to feel less bloated or we want to make a difference to this area. So I'm just going to show you a few little exercises that I use for my clients, I use on my plan and also I use them for myself to try and keep this area nice and toned. So please make sure you do a little bit of warm up before you're coming into this, don't go into it cold. And do remember that we can't really spot with you. So you're going to see me changing and chopping and changing the exercise that I do. So try and add them in to perhaps work out that you're going to do what you want. So first of all, I'm just going to come down and extend the legs. And as you do, try and pull in through your core. So watch your little arch in your back. As you lift your head up, watch the chin. So lots of space between chin and chest. Elbows nice and relaxed. So this area of your body should feel release, yeah? Not tense, not tight, relax. If you feel it's difficult to straighten your leg, just keep a slight bend through your knee. Breathe here for me. So just lift and hold. Focus on this connection between here to here. Pull inwards, downwards. Yeah? Hold for four. Come up as high as you can for two, for one. Open up the knees, flex your feet. Again, watch we're not like that or arch in the back. So it's really important that we scoop the pelvis, pull in through the core, but we're not pulling on the head. Make sure you feel it here, not here around your neck. Hold for four, for three, for two. Bring your feet together and just tap, tap. Now we're gonna lift them up, and then all I want you to do is just vary where you tap your feet. So they're not always in the same place, maybe a little bit further away from you, a little bit closer, maybe to the side. Good. And then stay on your heel. Pull your tummy in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to extend the legs once again and we're going to rock now as we're rocking again remember we've got a flat back we're not pulling from the head we're not pulling from the shoulders or the neck it's from the core four and last three last two one more now can you separate the legs a little and do the same thing so we've got just a little bit of a rock a little bit more of a scissor so the stomach has to work a little harder last four three more good last two one more, continue if you can, just swap over your legs. If you can, try and keep your legs, your feet active, not like this, falling asleep. Last four, good, watch your chin. And two, it's a constant, constant conversation with your body. You yeah, relax, hold, breathe, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Again, lift and lift and lift and lift. Four, now let's start to speed up. As you do, take little tiny lifts with the upper body. But again, remember from the midriff, not the neck, not the shoulders, not the head. Hopefully you're feeling this. Four, last three, two more. One more, hold there. Four, three, two, one. Bring your knees in, lift up, and round we go. So I'm going to turn, rather than having bum towards you, I'm gonna turn this way. <laughs> Hands nice and flat, so let's come into a full plank. Now most of us do um, planks that are too low, so again, scoop in and up from the bottom of your ribcage, belly button in, hold here. Make sure your hands feel comfy, so those joints in your hands, in your wrists get a little bit tight as we age. Hold for four, for three, for two, for one. Now just pick up, almost as if you're gonna do a downward dog, change your mind and come back, break. Pick up and break. Yes, I want you to really squeeze the abs here to stop your body from moving. Another four, and last three. So I've got a little bit of work into my shoulders now, into my back. Two, and one. Good. Release, bring your right leg forward, pause and hold. Now the reason we're here, we're not just trying to isolate in the abs, which we can't do, so we're just adding a little bit more here to get the heart rate up, get the muscles to burn in the major part of our body. Last four, three, two, one, hopefully here is still firing. Bring your leg back, breathe, and then come down to a lower plank. So just give your um, elbows a chance to rest into the floor, and let's relax the hands and the forearms and the shoulders. So not like this, pull upwards, inwards. Now turn your palms up. Gosh, it makes such a difference. Breathe, puff up through your chest, pull in through your stomach, hold for four, for three, for two. Now just raise one leg. Woo! Three, two, and one. Shoulders are burning, back is working, core is working. Two, and one, release. 
knees come down, hands flat, give yourself a little cat cow, and then I want you to really pull up and then try to just take your weight forward and scoop. Holding four, three, two, one, release. A little bit of a rest for the back, and again, pull it in, four, three, two, one. So can you see now, we're just starting to work in compound exercise. That means that we're getting different muscles working at the same time. So I've got shoulders, tricep, back, also into my core. I've got a little bit through my thighs, a little bit of stability in my joints. And last three, you can do it, breathe. Come on, scoop up even more. And two more, we're nearly there. Scoop. Last one. So you don't always have to be laying down when you're working your abs. Good, hold here. Give yourself a little cat cow for a moment. Good, rearrange your hair, whatever you need to do. <laughs> Gosh, mine's got a mind of its own. Tuck your toes under, breathe. Once again, scoop up, hold here, and just tap in, in. Now what we're doing is trying to keep, if I was like this, I'm going to feel it more in my shoulders. So I want you to scoop upwards, inwards. Breathe, come on. Another eight, seven, six, five. Thighs are working, shoulders are working. Two and one. Hold. Hands out. Full plank. Breathe. Can you take your weight a little further forward, a little further back? So we've got a little bit of a sweep. Just change your feet position in if you need to. Come on, we've got another eight. And seven wall shoulders lift up more from your core four three two and one ah, so there you go it's a few of the exercises that I use just change in direction using different planes so that we're not always sat doing sit-ups there's lots of other ways that you can work the core hope that helps thanks for listening